Hey guys, it's Ben and Ashley. And in today's video, this is part five of Miranda's story. And it is going to be all about the spiritual side of healing with um, the medical medium lifestyle. For a medical medium, I had pretty much turned, turned a cold shoulder to spirituality because I thought uh, I saw my grandfather suffer with dementia and he was a devout Catholic. And I thought, how, how could that happen? Right. Because I didn't understand the cause of illness. And here you take a man who is so had devoted his entire life, um, you know, to worship in different things in the church. And, and then he dies from such a horrendous disease. So that really shifted my mindset earlier on. Um, and then it wasn't until, you know, again, like on my knees praying for help. And then the medical medium thyroid book literally like fell off the shelf, right? Like I'm right here um, and learning through, through trust, uh, just trusting the body. I mean, when I was at my lowest and not sleeping and going through those, you know, that dark, dark depression, I remember one time, I mean, it sounds kind of crazy, but like, I had this feeling like this voice, it was like, you know, oh, you can come work, you know, or switch sides, right? Like, like you can come work for the dark side. You can come work for, I, I can hear, you know, you're not getting any help, you know, following the light. So you can, it, it's a long story, but in a nutshell, it was like, you know, this temptation of, you know, you're not getting better with what you're doing and you're working for the light. So why don't you switch over? And I remember falling on my knees and crying and being like, oh, hell no. Like I will work for the light till the day I die. I will never switch over. I would rather suffer every day than switch sides. And at that, that moment, then like something lifted like something came, like it almost like something came out, like, you know, Anthony's talked about viruses and the darkness and demons and whatnot, but it felt something came out. And that was also part of when the pendulum started swinging the other way. It was like, there was this kind of test of faith. And I'm not saying that happens for everyone. It was just very unique for me. Right. And at that, at that point on, I'm like, I was in it. I was like hundred percent committed. Um, the angels brought me so much relief though, like angel of peace, the angel of mercy, angel of healing. I would do the sunset meditations on my really hard, hard days. I would do the sunset meditations regularly as much as I would salary. And those sunset meditations brought back, you know, trust, you know, like angel of trust, angel of faith, help me, help me carry that faith that my body is healing, that it's still working for me, that there is still good in this world. Please show me there's still good in this world, right? So I would sit outside and just listen to the birds. I go outside and like lay on the ground. I'm sure my neighbors, cause I live in a very busy area. And like, they're sure they were like, what is she doing? Right. I just lay on the ground. I like, I'd watch the birds and just appreciate nature and just, you know, cause you can't get out. Right. There were times where I couldn't even make it outside. And my husband would be like, why don't you go sit outside? I'm like, it's too, I, I could, I couldn't, I can't get down there. If the sun is too much, it's just too much. Right. So when I got to the point of doing that, and then, you know, I started very slowly enjoying nature to the point of having a garden, right. We all know how soul healing, having a garden is just starting from the little black grow bags, right? Okay. So um, I started watching the stories of Achoda and she would have these grow bags. And so, you know, like having that community, we have, we have such an awesome community. I'd reach out to her, where'd you get your grow bags? How do you do that? What do you do? And so she was so sweet to take the time to write, here's what I got. I'm like, okay, I can do this, right? Um, and now I've expanded to, you know, much larger and you, you know, you guys are helping me out. So, but like, growing something and I had the garden right outside my bedroom window so I felt that connection to what I was growing so I felt really that spiritual connection to the garden itself like it was like it was part of my support team right you know I had my family I had my friends I had my supplements I had Anthony I had the medical medium community and I had my garden right and I had all the birds so having things like that that really kept me going and I would just sit out there and I would talk to the plants, you know, I really need help. Like, all right, tomatoes, like I need that, you know, vitamin C that's super unique to you guys. Like I need it, <laughs> please. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so garden growing, watching the birds, watching uh, the bees, doing the bee meditations, all those beautiful meditations that are in now the revised book that came in the first book uh, are lifesavers as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know what this reminds me of is this reminds me of Jesus. So, you know, Jesus, he got baptized by John the Baptist. And after he got baptized, he went on this spiritual journey. And during that, on that spiritual journey, he came across temptation and Satan and his demons. And when he came out of it, he was this great man, right? And 
we can relate to that because when you're so sick, you have these, you know, these uh, dark thoughts and Satan and his demons uh, come at you in every which way, just like they did with Jesus. And when you come out of it, you're like this changed person. You're this this new person, right? You detox. Right. You can see the light, right? You become the light. I think you become lighter, right? Because yeah. Anthony talks about how your soul is like a, a shattered plate, right? And it's got cracks every which way. And you're healing those cracks, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. as those cracks heal, you become brighter and brighter and brighter, this this bright light. And so I think there's this whole like spiritual side that you kind of go through when you're healing that kind of relates a little bit to what they talk about in the Bible. Absolutely. Absolutely. And now I feel so blessed, you know, and, and whatever people, you know, whatever their ideals are of mine, you know, I feel like I've welcomed Jesus into my heart for the first time in my life, even though I was raised in a Catholic school and a Catholic, you know, family. So, and learning what that relationship is, my, now I know like what my relationship is to God, you know, now I know what it feels like my relationship that I have with Jesus and the angels and, and whatnot. And I, I get a lot of questions on social media, you know, how can you be raised Catholic and, and, and be able to follow medical medium? And, and you know, and I get, I get the questioning, right? But if you, if you read the information and you truly understand where the information is coming from and the information that's coming in, we know he's not, he's, he gives away every, all of his information is for free, right? He already says it costs more money to print the book than it does for, for you, for the money I make on, on, you know, to, on Amazon or whatever, whatever he sells it on. But um, I, I mean, I, I, here's this information and it has brought me so close to God, closer than any church sermon or any Catholic school that I ever went to how can it not be of the light, right? Like, and so, and I, and I get it. And I'm like, we have to understand that the name, I think it's like his, his Anthony's grandfather coined the name for him. That's where the medical medium name came from, if I'm not mistaken, but and I get it. But I, and I feel like if you open your heart to give it a chance, or even if you just do the vegetables and fruit and take out the no foods, right. And see how you feel, mm -hmm. you know, maybe, maybe that doesn't happen for you, but maybe it does. And if you're open to it, it's a beautiful part of healing because, you know, I can't tell you, like, I am so grateful and it sounds crazy for being sick, especially this last round, right? And this last round that really knocked me out because I found my faith because it was faith that I leaned upon to get through those, those dark times. You know, if you read in the Bible, I mean, even Jesus ha suffered, right? We all know they did. And just, you know, because you, you go through the, it's the, it's the human feeling of, am I being abandoned? Am I worthy of healing? Am I, you know, is this going to happen for me? Am I that unique, beautiful butterfly that's unique and, you know, outside of all this information. So all these people are going to heal, but me, because I'm so unique, like my illness is so unique. Um, so you go through all this, these questions, right? But it, it's, it works. The information works no matter what you say. And I always love when Anthony on the live said that you could be the, like the grouchiest, most cantankerous guy, but the information will still work on you, right? Like you can be super mean and grouchy, um, but healing can still happen. But I, I think it's beautiful. I think the, the spiritual benefit of this way of healing has been so profound. And now it's trickled down into my, you know, for my family and raising my children in a, in a very different way, um, and, you know, and, and finding that relationship you know, whatever that is for people, for the higher power or the universe or whatever you want to call it for me, you know, it's God and Jesus. So it's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful place to come to. And you go, oh, well, it can't be of the dark, right? It can't be of the darkness. Like what darkness would bring you closer to God? Yep. You, <laughs> you know? So yeah, I, I, I mean, you feel it. You, you, you feel a presence there when you get on your knees and you say a prayer. And it's something that I never felt until I started to cleanse my body. And I think there's some stuff there, right? Mm -hmm. Like cleansing your body, you're cleansing your body of the viruses, the radiation, the DDT, the toxic uh, heavy metals. You know, you're detoxing this stuff out of your body. Gives you a clearer connection. A, 
greater connection so you can bring more of that light in, right? Yeah. Because all that stuff is, it represents darkness. Yeah. So you get the darkness out of your body and now you can embrace that light. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, Anthony just said on his live, right? That the purpose of life, right? What's the purpose of life? Like soul yeah. healing and, and helping others and, and healing your own soul. And I mean, so these meditations, so like I, I do these meditations, like I do celery juice every single night. There are meditations going on because you know I'm, I'm, i joke because i'm like this is the easiest healing ever because i can sleep through it right because like i always fall asleep every night you know i try really hard but um you know that the kids can do and just work on that soul healing because we have you know it's it, it, like like he says it's hard life on earth is hard i keep oh lord god please let my next life be on the easy planet right like i just want to go easy after this one yeah. <laughs> like yeah. i I don't know if I want to come back. Like, <laughs> I just want to be able to make it out of here, you know, intact, and then maybe have like, you know, a, a nice, a nice go for the next pass. But yeah, because it, it matters what we do here, right? Anthony has said that you know, even if it's something so small um, or a little good deed, it matters once we pass on, once we pass away. You know, he said that the angels show us every little good thing that we did, even if it was saving a little worm on the sidewalk. Um, so it's like everything we're doing here is helping to better our soul, which is what matters when we're no longer here anymore. Yeah. Miranda, you just have like such an inspiring story. We're so happy that we've been able to talk with you and share your story to the world. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here with us all i can do to help you know it's like a, how i love about it it's like you can turn around and, and pull the hand up of someone behind you there's always someone who feels worse right so even if you're stuck in bed there's always somebody who feels worse that you can help and support um and that's just so healing in itself that's why we're here what he yeah. says <laughs>